I'm Derek Adams. I'm excited to uh, present this project, Crossroad, here at Bemis. My work really changes a lot from sculpture to painting to photography. I really enjoy the concept of the art of play and play as being a way of navigating through the gallery space. This particular piece, Crossroad, I think kind of brings together a lot of different things that I'm interested in happening in the gallery space. Um, being like a performative space with the sculpture itself, being activated by the crowd, walking through it and uh, participating in the game with uh, music. And uh, music is a really uh, important part of how to kind of participate in the sculpture in the performance part of the, um, of the piece, Crossroad. Even the title of the exhibition was based on the kind of railroad structure of most industrial cities. People are separated by the uh, railroad system, sometimes economically and racially, and that was like the motivation for thinking about the idea of Crossroad and how to kind of bring all those people together in this space. I'm from Baltimore. I live in Brooklyn. I've lived there probably for 20 years now. And what I really enjoy, you know, exists in the urban space that you are usually forced to be aware of other people and you're forced to be aware of other cultures. A lot of times people don't know what to do when they come to a gallery space to look at art. Although I make things that are 2D and are on the wall and kind of operate as drawings or sculpture, I do enjoy having the opportunity to do things that are physically engaging the audience, which this piece would be. And even if someone was to come here and just sit down on one of these sculptures in this space, to me is a plus. Certain elements of this, this piece kind of have existed through other works I've made, like the radio station component. Bringing more people to the space who are tuning in can kind of see how much fun we're having, how many things we're learning, how people are getting along with each other by kind of an extended way of communicating, which the radio station does. This work was less about color and more about form. And also mimicking the urban space because you know the, the palette is very kind of gray tones. So it looks like a sidewalk. The dice, which are a component of the piece that really just reflect the game part of the piece. A little reminder for the, the viewer to know what you're in. You're in a game. And the camera, because of the language of the camera, it creates a sense of cinematic discovery or just like more of a reality show for the viewer seeing themselves in real time on a big screen. We can be in the same space, but also have our own independent space, which happens a lot in the urban space. It's like one of the things that people try to establish, the idea of being in the group, but still having an independent space. There's a duplicity in objects that people have different relationships with. And as an artist, you have the capabilities of using that language, knowing that people have different relationships with it, to speak to people differently and for each person to kind of still get the sense of what you're trying to convey through the object, even though they may not have any relationship with each other. You can kind of challenge them by um, not necessarily um, totally abandoning the use of the object, but kind of highlighting the, um, the multidisciplinary part of that object. I tried to make a piece that has dual purposes until people started to come into the sculpture and make it their own and get comfortable in the space. That's when the sculpture will become complete.